Hi, Anneli. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Nidia. How are you today? Hello. Hi, Adeli. How was your day today, Adeli? Um, so far, so good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. Hi, Brenda. Have... Uh huh. Sorry, Adeli. Almost like a one hour. I finish my 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 work. Oh my goodness! Really? Yep. All day work. Yeah, uh, my shift is started at, at 10 p.m. At 10 a.m., sorry. Wow, all right. Okay. All right. So you work in an office? In a, what do you really? Right now I am working from home. Yeah, all right. Okay, very good. Okay. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Can you hear us? Yes. I can hear you. You're very you good. Me? Yes, I can hear you now. Very good. How was your day today, Brenda? Lots of meetings again? Yeah, like every day. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Hi, Rodrigo. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Classmate. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> it's good. It was a good day today? Yes. All right. Okay. Very nice. And Nidia? How was your day today, Nidia? It was a good day? It was a good day. I, I, it's my, it was my last day of vacation. Oh so my goodness. Go, yes, I have to go to work tomorrow. On, oh my God. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow then, Nidia. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hi, Gabriela. Hi, Manuel. Hi. How are you today, Manuel? I'm fine. Thank you for asking you. I'm okay. It was a good day. I mean, busy because of my children's homework and everything. But yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I have to keep busy, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. It's Plus, all. Yeah, yeah they need little, help. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, very good. And also, like, planning all the classes and everything. So I keep busy. <laughs> and Gabriela, how was your day? Good evening. It was okay. What's okay? It was an okay yes. day. All right, very good, guys. Okay, so let's. We're just gonna wrap up yesterday's um, topic. Remember that yesterday we were talking about natural speech, where people hesitate when they're speaking. They go back. They say it again. They repeat themselves. They stutter. So they do a lot of things while they like just the natural speech, like what we do all the time, even in in our own language. All right. So let's just. I'm just gonna share. Uh, this one that it was from yesterday, just to check up a little bit, guys, on this one. I think that was the first exercise, I believe. Yeah. All right. So this was the first exercise here. Do you have it by any chance close to you? So let's see pretty much what you guys wrote on it. For number one, do you guys remember what you like, what your notes were about yesterday? Do you have it close to you? So we can just finish that up and then we continue with the topic um, today with the, like, the new topic. Anybody, Nidia, do you have it like with you or not anymore? The, the one that we did yesterday. Did you take notes, Nidia, from yesterday's uh, listenings? Or anybody? No, guys? No, I don't take notes. You didn't take I notes did. yesterday. Brenda, did you? Yes, I did. Yeah. I did, yeah. All right, do you have anything from this first exercise, the first four? Yes, um, on the first one I have alternative medicine That's needs right. to be investigated as much as medicine under development. Perfect, okay, very good, all right. So you're talking about alternative medicine and it needs to be like proven or investigated just as the other kind type of medicine, very good. What do you? What did you have for number two, Brenda? I have uh, the brain tends to transform basic forms into more complex or specific ones. Right. Okay. Um, guys, in these types of questions, because we're like let's say fifteen people, so everybody's going to have different answers. Okay. As long as you're not talking about 
animals that has nothing to do with the topic, it's fine. Your words are gonna be differently, like different words from what I wrote perhaps, or from what Rodrigo wrote or Nidia took notes, okay? Because we're different and we listen to it and we understand it. The idea here is for you to actually understand the point of what was being said, all right? Brenda, go on with number three, please. That was a difficult one, uh, but I have Mongols moderated their savagery in order to be prosperous and very be able good. to collect and provide tribute. Perfect, perfect. All right, very nice, very, very nice. And the last one? In poetry, um, alliteration is yes. a common technique used by putting together words that have similar consonant sounds. There you go. All right, so you got it all right. Very good. Thank you, Brenda, for sharing that with us. Uh, what about someone else that took notes from these uh, other four? I don't know if uh, Maribel or Areli or Manuel or Gabi, if you guys were in class yesterday, do you have any notes from that or Nidia? What does the food storage occur? Do you remember what it occurs? That one was like more specific perhaps? No, any I don't have anything. Yesterday I couldn't attend in classes. Yeah. Okay, that's okay, all right. So, uh, well, I'm just going to tell you this one um, for number one, where it says, where does the storage occur? It says the endosperm of the seed. All right. It, it, it occurred in the endosperm of the seed. For number two, the question says, why does the professor believe teachers have not succeeded in teaching critical thinking skills? Again, you're gonna probably have it differently, but this is pretty much what it says. He dubs that the average person understands the difference between science and pseudoscience, all right? So they're talking about science and pseudoscience. Number three, what is the professor pointing out? Universal units of time, it relates to time. So if you somewhere in your, in your answer, you have time there related, that's okay, you're on the right track. Universal units of time are not accurate enough for modern measurements, okay? And the last one, it says, under what conditions does the speaker think it is acceptable to, uh, to borrow money, all right? That one is when the which is purchased will be worth more than the amount of money borrowed, okay? So if it's gonna be less, there's no use on it or there's no point in borrowing money, all right? And the last one here, we had these choices. I don't know if you have it with you, but I'll just tell you the answers for number one, it's letter B. For number two, it's also letter B. For three and four is letter A. All right, so it's B, B, A, A, okay? So I don't know if you had it with you, close to you. All right, but that was like the, um, the yesterday's presentation. Now, it's I fair. just, yes? Yeah. In this um, exercise is B B A A. That's right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hi, Freddy. Oh. Hi, Elena. Teacher. Hi, Guillermo. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Maribel. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, what's the meaning of What's the meaning of mango? No. Where is it? Mango is in the, the second one. Three. Whoa. No. Three. Mongols? Uh-huh. In the, the Mongols, not so exaggerated. Something like oh, that. Mongols. Moderate, uh-huh. Yeah, like a tribe, like a group of people. Group of people. Right. Mong the Mongols are uh, were a group of a tribe. Right, and they were a tribe, in yes. China, and they were very violent. They're conquerors, but very violent. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So it's a tribe. It's a, like a group of tri uh, tribe. All right. A group of people. Very good. Okay. So guys, as I said yesterday, today we're going to be talking about connecting ideas or connecting things. All right. So uh, I just sent like 10 minutes before the class began. I sent the PPT plus the audios that we're going to be working mm -hmm. with tonight. The audios are very like shorter than the like a pass. It's not a passage. Okay. So you have it already, but I'm gonna share it with you anyway. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Here, guys, we have understanding connections. This is what the topic is about. Remember that this is all based from this, and I'm just gonna take you back so you guys remember where I took this from. And this is from here, this, um, the listening practices that we can do in order to improve 
our skill, all right? So here yesterday, we talked a little bit about natural speech and trying to understand what they're talking about. Again, we're trying to understand why, what they're talking about using or understanding connections as well as identifying topics. So the idea for tonight is to go over understanding connections and, ident and identifying topics, okay? In case you actually look at the PPT I sent 10 minutes before the class, it has both topics. Understanding connections is the first one and also identifying topics, okay? So here it says, I'm just gonna read it to you. I know you have it. It says, I'm just gonna move us here. It says, understanding connections as the speakers connect ideas by using reference and transitional expressions, okay? We're gonna deal with reference more than transitional expressions, okay? So here it says, understanding reference. Um, someone can read this for me, please? A volunteer to read it? Only one? Uh, yes. The Aztecs of Mexico were probably the first people to domesticate the turkey. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you begin reading instead of repeating? I'm sorry. You were reading the example. Can you read this instead of? Oh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Instead of repeating information, speakers often use pronouns in short phrases that may refer back to a previously mentioned word or phrase or anticipate a word or phrase that will be mentioned. All right, very good. Um, guys, there is a storm coming in here in my house, so I don't know if the lights go off. I'm sorry, but I'll try to connect as soon as possible. Just give me one second, all right, please? Don't worry. Don't worry. It's raining. I, I think I get out because of the the electricity is, is falling down yeah i know i think it's like i don't know but by my house is the same it's Hola. very windy yeah it's super windy right now oh my goodness all right okay well if anything happens guys I'm, i'll try to be back as soon as possible all right okay so we were reading here so understanding reference, okay? Instead of repeating information, speakers often use pronouns and short phrases that may refer back to, previously, to a previously mentioned word or phrase or anticipate a word or phrase that will be mentioned. So this is like interesting guys, because it's not only that they can like use these reference to refer to something they already mentioned, but they also use this reference to say something that is not mentioned yet and but will be mentioned, okay? Hola, are you there? Guys, hola, hola. I think you have mute, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, this is what we're going to do. You have the presentation anyway, okay? So I'm going to send you to your group, and the idea is for you to listen and complete the exercises, okay? You have the examples there. I'll try to show them to you. So here's an example of the reference. Here, you're not going to listen any. For this exercise, you're not listening. You're reading, okay? So, for example, it says, people once thought the word abracadabra had mystical powers. So, they were this, uh, they were this word. Message. Can you read the message? Yes. Yes, teacher. 
Hi, Nidia. I'm going to send you to your group again, okay? Nidia, were you working in a group before or not? I can't hear you clearly. Okay, don't worry about it. Hold on.
Hello, teacher. Hi, Guillermo. 
Uh, hello, I am sorry. Uh, la, la conexión. Uh, oh, uh, yes. La uh, rain. Yes, I'm sorry. I understand. Uh, 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 yes, um, uh, we are. Uh, we are. Uh, we were working okay. in the. Uh, yes, in the presentation. Okay. We, so I'm gonna send you Guillermo again to the group because I cannot really hear you very well. Okay, so I think you're working better on your group. Uh, yes. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, I better, no. Yeah, was weird. Can you hear me? Maribel, can you hear me? Hi, Maribel. Hi, Brenda. Hi, teacher. Brenda, were you, like, did you, like, did the internet take you out of your room? Yeah, it kicked me out, but I have the, the presentation I'm working here. Okay, fine. I stay here because, I mean, work on the presentation. I cannot really hear, like, you guys very well. So, okay. keep on listening to your uh, PPT any way you have it, okay? Sure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Guillermo. Uh, hello. Hi, Guillermo. You have the presentation, Hi. yes? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. It, so, you know what you do, Guillermo? Trabaja en la presentación igual que está haciendo Brenda y, y, um, y Maribel. All right? All right. Ok, porque lo, lo que pasa es que por la lluvia, la tormenta, entonces los está sacando de los grupos. Ah, uh, yes. Ok, so yeah. you do the listening, ok? Ya vamos a ver si se calma un poquito y la podemos revisar together, ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok, Maribel, I saw the message. Thank you, Maribel, also.
Hi everyone. Can you hear me a little bit? Yeah? Yeah. That's all. yeah. <laughs> all right. I do want to apologize for this inconvenience, but it's been crazy. I mean, it was really, really raining cats and dogs here. Anyway, um, I don't know if you were able to finish or not. The presentation, it's yours. You have it already. So again as long i mean as well as the uh, audios all right so you can like always go back and listen to them i just wanna let's see if we can finish at least the first one that we don't really need to listen to the audio here Paz, i mean brenda do you have this one do you have um have you done this one right here brenda yeah not really 
Um, I thought we were supposed just to read that one. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, these ones, the thing is like this one, you did not need to like listen to anything. It was just kind of like reading, so we can read it like right now. So it says people once thought the word about abracadabra had mystical power. So they were this word inscribed on a amulet as a good luck charm. So the word they or the pronoun they, what does it refer to, guys? Refers people. To, to people, people, right? Very good. What about this word? Which word? Abracadabra. Abracadabra, right? Okay, so usually, as you see on this, like this example, they use pronouns or words that they already mentioned, but they don't repeat it because it would be boring, all right? Let's try to do the uh, number two for the subject matter of, of her novels. Uh, Willa uh, Carter used the frontier life of the Nebraska prairie of her youth. What does it refer to subject matter? Is? What do you think subject yeah, matter is? Yeah, yeah well, topic. the topic, better said. Yeah, the topic is better. What about her? Who's her? Willa Carter. Right, yeah. very good. And what about what about her again? So if you notice, we have two hers. So what about that one? Willa Carter. Again, yeah. right? So again. it would be, thank you. So it would be boring if we say Willa Carter twice and thrice, all right? So it's like, that's why they used a, in, in a pronoun in this case. Uh, during a drying time of six to eight weeks, the nutmeg uh, shrinks away from its hard seed coat until the kernels rattle in their shell when shaken. A drying time, what's that? The period of six. The period. To eight weeks. That's right. Okay. The period of six uh, to eight weeks. What about it? The nutmeg. All right. Nutmeg. Okay. And what about there? The the shell. The nutmeg shell. All right. Okay. The way from my house to code until the kernels rattle in there. Okay, so the nutmeg again, right? So very good. What about the last one, guys? To pass his time away in jail, Charles Duck, whatever his last name was, smuggled out uh, rhyming love letters to his wife. And this may have been the beginning of the custom of sending Valentine cards to loved ones. What about his, his, and this? Charles. Nine. Charles, all right. What about the other his? The same thing, right? Yeah. Charles wife very good and this sending love letters sending the I, that's right the love letters okay so usually when even when we write I mean we right we use pronouns or reference words um, to avoid repetition that's like make something interesting here guys uh, they are identifying reference in a conversation and this one you had um, in this case, you did have a listening, right? So the idea was for you to actually listen to these ones and then kind of like, okay, so the one who wrote the Uncle Tom's Cabin, who was it, guys, do you know? Did you write it down? Harriet Beecher Stone. Very good, all right, Harriet, very good. What about he? He refers to whom? President Lincoln. Lincoln. President Lincoln, very good. What about her for letter C? Harriet Beecher Stone again. Harriet again and letter D. Her again is Harriet Beecher Stone. Harriet, again. very good. And the little lady who served the Civil War. Harriet Beecher. Again, the same lady, right? Harriet, very good. So you were supposed to do that from number two, three, and four. Were you able to finish that, guys? Yes. Yes. Right, very good. Uh, the, then you had this one now, reference in a lecture, okay? So this one here. It's in a conversation, reference in a conversation. This one was referenced in a lecture. And here uh, you did have, did you have listening here? Yeah, you did, all right. So, whoa. Okay, so again, you were supposed to listen to it and get the answers. So tomorrow when we come back, um, I mean, when we come to class tomorrow, I'm gonna check these ones with you in case you were not finished. And in case you were not finished with like the whole presentation, try to do it. After this one, we have the identifying topics, okay? So try to do it at home. So tomorrow we can come in and just check them, all right? And then we'll finish up with the other uh, two listening activities that we had planned for you.
for this section. All right, guys, thank you so much. And again, I apologize for the inconvenience. All right, thank you for bearing with me and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye. Thank you. Bye, Good guys. Night. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.